Hello, and welcome to the International Quilt Museum's virtual First Friday Fun. I'm Lauren Holt, Education Coordinator at the museum, and in honor of March being Women's History Month and International Women's Day coming up on Monday, March 8th, this virtual First Friday Fun presentation will focus on quilts that celebrate women or draw attention to women's issues. Some quilts are made as tributes to people or ideas. One example of this type of quilt is the famous Women Friendship Quilt, which was put together as a result of a mountain mist quilt contest in 1978. Quilters were challenged to design a 12 inch by 12 inch square, showing their choice of a famous woman and or her accomplishments. The 30 winning blocks are the ones you see featured here, framed by yellow sashing and quilted by Essie Lawson. The winning blocks depict such famous figures as renowned American artist Georgia O'Keeffe, Polish and naturalized French scientist and Nobel Prize winner Marie Sklodowska Curie, and American Civil War nurse and founder of the Red Cross, Clara Barton. Another tribute quilt, Tribute to American Women, this collection of 42 blocks framed by red sashing was created by the Hamish Amish quilters of San Fernando Valley, California. The group focused on American women who have contributed to history despite challenges of law, tradition, religion, social custom, or prejudice which might have held them back. The resulting quilt blocks honor women from many professions and periods of history, including indigenous Canadian American musician, Oscar winning composer, and social activist Buffy St. Marie, African American Olympic sprinter and civil rights activist Wilma Rudolph and Patsy Mink, America's first Asian American Congresswoman. Another topic that some quilters focus on that's related to Women's History Month is protest quilts, and especially quilts aimed at raising awareness about issues connected to women's rights. As a quilter, Jean Ray Laurie was well known for the use of color, humor, and satire in her work, and many of her quilts deal with the changing roles of women in the mid to late 20th century. She traveled frequently as a lecturer and teacher and has been quoted as saying, no matter where I was, when we talked about quilting, we talked about women's lives. Women's issues were universal. These two quilts both address social inequalities women have faced throughout history. Barefoot and Pregnant, on the left, uses a comic strip format of nine blocks to reference a 1963 speech by Arkansas State Senator Paul Van Dalsum and his limiting opinion on the social and political roles appropriate for women. Female Troubles, on the right, with its portraits, names, and quoted statements such as weak spells and nothing helped me, was inspired by historic advertising testimonials from 1927 and highlights the time's social expectation that women suffer in silence. The Women in Struggle quilt was made in the 1980s by members of the Needle Arts Society of California. Jenny Garacker led the project, which aimed to take a feminist perspective in honoring the political and social struggles of all women around the world. In response to this international focus, some of the blue bordered blocks seen here represent women from Kurdish, Vietnamese, Hispanic, and Chinese communities. Of the selection of blocks pictured on the right, the top left block highlights the struggles of African American women to access education, voting rights, and a voice in politics. The pair holding a banner in front of a crowd in the top right block are protesting, take back the night, end violence against women. In the bottom left block, Grandmothers March in the Plaza de Mayo, Argentina, in 1977, demanding the return of their loved ones from illegal imprisonment. On the bottom right, women protest the terrible conditions and extremely low pay experienced by women working in sweatshops. This quilt, called Miss Sue Alive and Liberated and dated 1984 to 1986, depicts the classic quilt character Sunbonnet Sue in a variety of new outfits and activities, each framed by green sashing. The project was created from 42 blocks designed by more than 40 women from around the world and aimed to highlight the changing roles of women in society in the late 1900s. Many of the blocks depict Sue indulging in new freedoms and pursuing new professions, including those of an astronaut, a journalist, a judge, and a presidential candidate. The last type of quilts I want to talk about for Women's History Month today are memorials and memoirs. Some quilters honor women they remember or are inspired by in their work, 
while others document aspects of their own lives. Susan Shee chose to honor artist James and Betty Ford in this quilted painting entitled Artist and Betty Making Salsa, Two of Spoons in the Kitchen Tarot. In the quilt, the two women make salsa together as their husbands watch over their shoulders and other figures celebrate and play music. When describing this piece, Susan Shee said that she chose to honor artist James and Betty Ford together after they died only one day apart on July 7th and July 8th, 2011. The Two of Spoons in the name references the tarot's Two of Wands, a card she noted represents determined leadership and feeling personal inspiration and passion for one's goals. She admired artist James as a collector and preserver of quilts and for her role in establishing the International Quilt Museum and Study Center in 1997. Betty Ford, she noted, surprised her in her research for this project. Susan She admitted she had previously ignored Betty Ford, associating her with her husband, former President Gerald Ford's politics. Instead, she found that Betty Ford had a long history of working on women's rights projects such as the Equal Rights Amendment and had a special feistiness that is memorialized in this quilt. Some quilts are a form of emotional expression as well as decorative display, and others depict personal or family life events. But even among a wealth of examples, this quilt, called My Crazy Dream, stands out. The detailed piecing and embroidery that make up this quilt's crazy collage means that even multiple close viewings are likely to turn up new details each time. And unlike many quilts, this one is not only titled and signed in embroidery in the lower left-hand corner, but also features a drawing of the quilter herself, printed on fabric on the bottom right, thus immortalizing both her art and her own image in a project that, according to the embroidered dates in the bottom right corner, spanned 35 years. In the spirit of the quilts we've looked at today, this month's challenge is to make a quilt block honoring one of your favorite women in history. Maybe that's someone world famous, like Sojourner Truth, Amelia Earhart, Macy Jemison, or Frida Kahlo. Maybe it's a quilter whose work inspires you, like Jean Ray Laurie or Faith Ringgold, or maybe it's a family member or friend. I chose to make a block honoring Maria Marion, a German naturalist and scientific illustrator who was born in 1647 and started raising silkworms to observe their life cycle when she was 13 years old. She wrote and illustrated many books on plants and insect life and played an especially significant role in documenting the process of insect metamorphosis, so I chose to represent her work with the life cycle of a silkworm. My second block is for Cecilia Payne Gaposchkin, a British-American astrophysicist and astronomer who wrote her doctoral thesis on the composition of stars in 1925. Whatever you choose, we'd love to see the results, and I hope you'll share your art with us in the comments below or by tagging us on Instagram. If you have enjoyed this video, the International Quilt Museum has featured several exhibitions that highlight these and other quilts concerned with women's social and political history, as well as women's issues in the present day. For virtual exhibitions, check out Power, Passion, and Politics, and Crazy Quilts and Mad Women. In person or online, explore the Quilts of Emotion exhibition on display in the Peg Coral Gallery until March 27th, 2021, and Sample Home, Wall Work by Amy Meissner, on display in the Pumphrey Family Gallery through June 26, 2021. Thank you for joining us for First Friday Fun.